Hey everybody, it's Harry from Selepa Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. My buddy Andy here just dropped off a brand spanking new demo unit from the nice folks at Green Mountain Grill. This is the Daniel Boone model with all of the latest tricks and upgrades. Andy talk you guys through some of the new and improved features. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick breakdown of the new features. Uh, first, you'll see the windows. Uh, just let you see how many pellets you have left and what you're cooking. Uh, we have a front shelf here that's collapsible. And that was something that some of our uh, grill owners were really wanting to save a little bit of space. Uh, we have Upgraded grates, they're about twice as thick as they used to be. Well, wow, this is pretty hefty, right? Yeah, they're... Are they, are they uh, chrome or stainless steel? Uh, these, I believe, are uh, coated. Coated? Okay, cool. We have a stainless steel heat shield. Heat shield. Stainless steel deflector. Nice. And our new stainless steel uh, fire pot also. All right, and uh, the, what was the old one made of? Uh, it was painted uh, carbon steel. Okay, so stainless steel, so it should yep. last a lot longer. Yeah, it's heavy gauge. So this is one of our other features here. You can see we put that in there. Now, I always get questions from people, right, with the little plunger that you push the uh, heat shield back and forth. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what are your recommendations? Uh, I always just do two fingers right here. Two fingers on the left yeah. and right. Yeah, so, and so like what I like even. to do is, I'll put this in here. Now, is the rod necessary? The rod just allows you to cook on the fly. Say you're noticing one side's cooking a little hotter than the other, then you can adjust it from the outside without taking everything out. And if you wanted a hot side, say you're cooking burgers on one side and some ribs on the other, then you can actually slide it back and forth to dial in your uh, left to right heat. Okay. So you'll see on the bottom there, there's that V. So when you're going left and right, you're actually putting that flame either center where it's splitting even, or you go on this side and it's going to kick it this way, or you go on this side, it's going to kick it that way. So okay. and if you want more heat on this side, you're actually going to pull it this way okay. and it's going to shoot it that way. Well, what's your favorite brisket setting on the, this model? Uh, as far as temperature? Uh, in terms of evenness of the, where, where do you put the fire? I always just do that two fingers. Two fingers, so and you it, like it, it even, right? Yeah, like it even? it's about four and a half. Four and a half, okay. So this was a result of many question and feed, feedback from... Yeah, this is almost all from our customers. Uh, different ideas they had, different mods that other people were already doing with our grills. Uh, so we took that in consideration and uh, just wanted a beefier grill basically. So the legs are thicker a lot thicker okay new, new legs. The bottom shelf so it kind of keeps the legs a little more rigid the wheels are bigger back and front wheels are bigger uh, we've also added a light to the inside a light where's the light right here oh cool all right so have have fun keeping that clean yeah <laughs> it wipes off pretty easy so here's your switch for the light okay uh, we have two meat probes now we have a usb charger for your phone oh cool and, and then the uh, electronics, are, are, are they the same? The electronics on these, this is actually a 12 volt now. 12 volt, okay. So you'll be able to run it off your car uh, cigarette lighter. So take it a contest? battery. Contest, contest yep. ready, right? Yep. So for those of you are KCBS or you know, competitors, you can haul this puppy and use your car. Yep. Cigarette lighter, socket yep. to run. It's right here. And I'll also run off your uh, household too. Household, all right. So here's the adapter. Beefy, beefy power supply. Yeah, this is the DC. Looks like a laptop, right? <laughs> yeah, then you can run this straight. We have another cable here that's straight. Uh, straight. So keep the cigarette lighter. And then there's a, there's a the tools or this is just parts? Uh, these are different parts here. So here's your cord if you want to run it straight. Straight. Okay. Do some extra screws. Uh, your meat probes. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the other other adapter right here, so you can run off a battery. Oh wow, like a regular, like a yeah, battery battery? Yeah, a 12-volt battery you can put next to it. And uh, yeah. Just so ropes here. That's for your antenna. Antenna for that, okay. Wi-Fi. 
Now, what, one of the questions that I get is sometimes from people who have a Green Mountain Grill and then you have a little bit of an auger jam because it rained. Yeah. Is there any tips you have for cleaning out the auger jam when it's wet? And um, kind of you can try tapping it first. It's the easiest way is you just take out all your insides and kind of tap on the auger tube itself. And sometimes that'll loosen it up enough to get it going. If not, it's an easy remove. You take your hopper off, you can pull the auger actually out. When you say take the hopper off, uh, what do you mean? Uh, there's just a four bolts here. So you take these two, two off the back, pull your hopper off, and you can actually get to the auger a little easier that way. You just pull it out. Okay. Straight. Okay. So so that, because I know some people who live in very humid yeah. climates, they eventually, if they yeah. don't cook for a long time, the pellets kind of get kind of seized up. Yeah. And it's good to, if um, you're cooking in cold weather or anything like that, to use the pellet dump in the back. And if you're not going to use it for a while, empty out all your pellets. Okay, you want to show them what the pellet yeah. dump? So we have a pellet dump here. So the recommended thing is if you are gonna like have it for a low for winter, go ahead and dump the pellets, right? You don't wanna leave the pellets in there. Yeah. Because eventually they'll kind of fall apart and seize up your auger. Okay, cool. All right. So yeah, just do a clean out if you're not planning on using it for a while. And then if the auger does seize out, you say just remove these four bolts, right? Yeah, and you should be able to get to that auger a little easier. Um, and then just remove the whole unit. It comes off yep. as a modular unit. Yeah, and pull Perfect. the whole auger out. Very cool. Excellent. Any uh, changes to the algorithm at all in terms of the PID? Uh, the algorithm's a little bit different just because it's 12 volt now. So that 12 volt gives us more variable speeds. So it's a little bit more accurate as far as... Uh, swings okay go now uh I, the other question i was gonna ask is how do they get the updates uh you could update with your phone in the app you go to your settings and uh update the grill and we come out depends on you know what we're finding but the newest program is really good so you shouldn't have to update for a while all right man okay thanks a lot no appreciate it man thanks andy see you around all right let's start it up for the first time I removed the uh, heat shield and the burn shield. So let's start her up. Press the button one. And we'll go through its cycle. During a first time startup, I like to prime it a little bit, tossing some uh, things in there so that it starts up faster once you get the burn pot started. And in subsequent second and third coat, it'll be fine. So there's a tip for you. The fan is starting up and it's gonna start to light up the unit. I'm going to put the uh, heat shield back on. All right, let's get it done right here. And let's go up to 450. Let's make our super secret spicy honey garlic rub to cook our ribs to go on the uh, Green Mountain Grill. Daniel Boone, show you guys uh, how I put together different flavors. For this one, I'm going to take a shortcut because uh, I don't have the time to go make my chicken rub, so I'm gonna use one part of my chicken rub, one part of powdered honey, half part of granulated garlic, and a quarter part of cayenne to create a amazingly delicious spicy honey garlic rub to go on my ribs. One part slap your daddy chicken rub. So first place you say chicken rub. We're gonna do one part of powdered honey or honey crystals. You can find this at a Korean market. We like garlic, so about half a part of garlic and as much cayenne pepper as you can take. This is about a quarter portion. I'm giving you a volumetric recipe. So this recipe is based on parts. So if you use tablespoon, use tablespoons, use cup, use cup, use a shoe or shovel, but it's measured by volume, so not by weight. I'm gonna mix these four ingredients together and we're gonna trim up our ribs and do a little test cook. Make sure the flavors are good. All right, we finished the burning. Uh, let's do a temp test on the uh, Daniel Boone. See how evenly it cooks. I'm gonna keep the uh, tortillas on the uh, grease shield. I think Abe would do it. All right, 275 temp test. Let's see what happens. Give it a few minutes. It's been 20 minutes and let's check the evenness of the tortilla test. Uh, I have to make a de declaration here. I've cooked on uh, Daniel Boone's for 10 years, so 
I know the old model that I had was superb and you can see here no burning very even so this uh, new model with all these new improved features retains a lot of the good characteristics of the uh, original Daniel Boone and uh, absolutely super even cooking as I told you guys before I have to declare I've owned the Daniel Boone before and I own actually two Jim Bowies. That's how these things are. They're really, really good. Love them because they're so reliable. Uh, so I want to try not to be biased, but I just want to show you the result. No smoke and mirrors, how even the cooking is. So now we're ready to do our first cook. I'm going to throw our ribs on and see how this new model, Daniel Boone 2021 model, will fare in terms of the flavor, color, texture, and taste profile. about two and a half hours and uh, it has nicely crusted and it now passes the scratch test absolutely absolutely gorgeous mahogany color let's go ahead and give it a little wrap now oh, it looks pretty good and a uh, big old spare rib nice uh, little smoke ring here I'm gonna take a bite, it's super hot now. We can taste that, see how our rub with the uh, garlic, honey, chicken rub tastes like on ribs. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely delicious. That rub works really well on ribs. A little bit of kick, garlicky, a little sweet, no sauce and uh, no nothing in the foil. Uh, has a nice, warm heat and a nice bite. So overall, the, the 2021 Daniel Boone Green Mountain Grill worked really well. Yes, it does. And um, it's as good as what I have had to use it the past 10 years. It's got a number of notable improvements, which uh, were pointed out at the beginning of the video. And uh, if you are looking for a pellet grill, uh, go check out the uh, Green Mountain Daniel Boone. It's a great pit. I think that the price is in a competitive range, so you guys can go check it out. There are also uh, a few other options out there, and if you watch my other videos, you can see my different tests on other models of pellet cookers. Enough of me talking now, let's see if Mr. Beans will like some spicy honey garlic ribs cooked on the Green Mountain Grill. All right, Beans, no brisket today, but we're gonna give you some ribs. Scarf it down. I think he likes the uh, garlic honey ribs, even though it's really spicy. Hopefully you like the uh, Daniel Boone Green Mountain Grill ribs. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks to my Patreons for helping me keep the lights on. Huge thanks to Green Mountain Grill for sending me the demo unit to test. The uh, Daniel Boone is a great pit. The 2021 model is even better. So please go check it out. So until the next video, we will see ya.